Hi guys, it's Jessica here with uh, another Dolly video. Thought I would talk about some of the things that I've been working on, uh, uh, Dolly projects. Um, if I have time, I'll get to it. I'll try to get to uh, Jojo Dojo's Dolly prompt. Um, I might do that in a separate video. We'll see how far we get today. But uh, biggest thing I've been working on lately is eyes. Um, I really, really want my dolls to all have small iris and low dome eyes. Um, I'm Everybody's getting switched over and I've bought some. A lot of them don't quite work out or aren't quite exactly what I want. Um, I've got the ones that were fantastic were the Enzo eyes that I got for my Lily Cats. Uh, they are eight millimeter eyes with um, three millimeter irises and they are fantastic. Uh, my two ombres and my Constantine, some of them back here, have those eyes and those are the best small iris eyes I think that I have. Um, and I have a pair of uh, doll bakery eyes uh, that are supposed to be small iris um, that are on the way. Um, they were expensive. A lot of the small iris eyes, they tend to be uh, hard to get and or expensive or not in the right colors that you would exactly want. Um, so that is why I I embarked on this trying to make my own. Um, and uh, I started last week, I was making white polymer clay bases with uh, and then glossing them with um, nail polish and that was uh, it just wasn't going well. They, the, the pupils or the corneas would actually become concave. Um, it would just sink down uh, and it would just blur all of my painting and detail that I'd done in the eyes, which is really hard. Small iris eyes are small. Um, and so it's a very small surface area, but I've been having pretty good success with this, with this new method that I've been using um, with UV resin. And, uh, these are a few. I've got some in the dolls too. Let's see. Uh, here's another pair that uh, I really like. So my bases are pretty wonky. They're all handmade at this point. So they're white polymer clay um, and they're wonky. But once you get them in a doll, uh, they're pretty They're pretty good. Um, I think uh, uh, that part's really le uh, not as noticeable um, once you get them in the doll. So the, the one of the challenges, especially with these small iris size, is making nice irises uh, that are, excuse me, pupils that are very round um, and perfect, because that is really noticeable. If they're a little bit off, then it's really noticeable. This is a pair that I made for Herla, uh, my twiggling ingenue, um, who is still wearing this <laughs> fur wig that I made her, but I like it. <laughs> so she's wearing that for now. Um, uh, so the eyes, I'm going to get easily distracted. Um, here was, let me show you some more dolls. Uh, here is my um, twiggling Eloy head uh, with some red eyes that I made for him. The pupils, for him, the pupils are actually little red gems uh, that I had. I've had these for a long, long time and never used them for anything, but these are, they're perfectly round, of course, so uh, I'm going to get some more different colors and, and sizes uh, to, to help with my pupil problem because pupils are difficult uh, and I want them to be as perfect as possible because it's very noticeable. Um, here is, let's turn her little head up. Here is my uh, Lily Cat uh, Kitty Jolie and um, she got some green eyes and I really, really like how the iris size. It's just perfect for her and the green. And I used, for her pupils, you can see the flash. Um, uh, I use gold. I use those gold little gems, which I really like for her because it reminds me of um, a tapetum, um, which is the shiny surface in the back of the eye uh, of a lot of um, animals, including dogs and cats. We really don't have much of a tapetum. Uh, but um, I could make her cat irises. I, I find that less appealing. Um, I do I do like her to have a cute factor. I might try making some just just to make them and see how they look. Uh, but um, this this is really I'm really happy with 
with this for her. Um, let's see. Oh, so how, how am I making these eyes? I'm using <clears throat> a UV resin, <clears throat> excuse me, which is cured uh, with a UV lamp. Um, and my lamp is back here. If you can see, see that. It's a, it's a uh, um, UV la lamp. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, these cure pretty quickly. They, they cure within four minutes. I've been leaving them in longer. They do a little better. And the other thing is to not touch them for several hours. If you touch them too soon, you can mash them. Um, that's a, I have to be patient because I want to put them in the head right away and see how they look. Um, but you just got to let them be. They, they do they do better. I, I run a, a few pairs putting them in too soon. Um, so this method, uh, I maybe I'll link the video below. I, I'm using a lot of the things that um, Andreja, I forget what her YouTube name is, Nicole's Dreams, I think. Um, but of course, she's very famous. Uh, BJD YouTuber. She does um, lots of different videos and stuff. So I'm using uh, a lot of the methods that she uh, describes in her um, in her videos, what I, I do. Uh, as far as coloring the corneas, I've been using, um, mostly I've been using uh, colored pencils. Uh, I just have more control. I've been putting a little bit of um, Perlex powder in some of them. I'd like to get some different colors of Perlex powder. This one is just, um, this is just pearl basically. Uh, but I'd like to get gold and reds and different ones to add more shimmer to the eyes. Uh, again, it's, it's just very challenging with these small irises to cram in much detail. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to find more ways to do that. Um, I see people make these eyes that are just so pretty, and but they're larger, larger irises, and I just don't know how I could do that with small iris. Um, so, experimenting and and uh, 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 I'm really enjoying the process. It's it's fun making these eyes. Um, there's a lot that just don't work out, uh, but the materials that I'm using are pretty cheap. Um, so if I throw away half the eyes or 90% of the eyes that I make. It's no biggie. It's just some um, polymer clay. Um, I'm using Sculpey 3, uh, white Sculpey 3 to make the bases and um, and colored pencils, which I already have, and some of these gems. So maybe I'll buy some more of the gems and that might be make things a little more expensive, but really I'm not too concerned about it. The other thing is that Andreja's video, she goes through this process of glossing um, the uh, the base, the white polymer clay base. She, she uses this process for glossing that prior to even painting them for the eye. And I don't do that at all. Um, I, I thought at first that it might be a bigger deal. Um, but once you get the eyes in the head, I, I really don't notice that if there need to be gloss. Um, so I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll experiment with that process and see, you know, maybe they do look amazingly better. Um, I, I found that I haven't really noticed that much. So, oh, we're eight minutes and I've hardly gotten through any of the topics I wanted to talk about. Um, so, oh, uh, next on my list, next on my list is uh, the blushing. I've been working on, I've never blushed any of my dolls. I've wanted to, I've wanted to blush them. Uh, and so yesterday, I um, I worked on my uh, Lily Cat Constantine, and I really I swear that the blushing that I did on her faded, <laughs> it faded from yesterday. I don't know if that's what happens, um, but uh, I do. I swear that it's not as as noticeable. Her butt's really cute, but I I won't show that. <laughs> Um, but, uh, uh, I wanted, I kept, I kept it subtle cause I didn't know how it was going to look. So, um, I may add some more layers, uh, just to brighten it up, especially for the camera because it, it looks pretty good in life, but it just doesn't even really show up on the camera at all. Um, so I'll, I'll probably work on that some more, but I'm, uh, I really, it's, it's not as bad as I thought it was to do. So, um, I may... I may blush more of my girls. Uh, I was feeling a little adventurous, so Neela has all these extra 
different heads. This one, I think, I think this one is supposed to be her sad face. Um, so I got to figure out like how I would want sad face eyebrows to look. I think that's one of the most critical parts, but I started some basic blushing on it for her and um, just was kind of having fun, just not getting, not worrying too much, uh, just seeing how things go. Um, Neela here, she was, uh, she has a face up and blushing by um, Lunar BJD and uh, I, I, I just touched it up a little bit. I added just a little more blushing in pink. Um, I, I also made her lips more of a bluish color, which is her, her traditional design when I used to draw her long before I ever had her as a doll. I drew her for several years. Um, she had she has pretty blue lips and so I, I made them a little more blue and I may I may do some more um, I just kind of wanted to see how I felt about this and then I may add some more more details I really like the I really like the face up that um, that Lonnie did uh, it's it's really it's really beautiful um, and I've been very happy with it but I just I feel like playing with stuff I, I feel like I, I before I just I would never touch anything like that I would never dream of doing anything to an existing face up or blushing my dolls and I just I just feel like uh well I want to change them a little bit or I want them to be a little more this way and I just feel like okay well I can do it uh I have the ability <laughs> so um I'm starting to have a lot more fun with that and uh I'm looking forward to doing more of that sort of thing um it's it's time I mean I have so many things that I want to do I I, I would like to make um, some wigs too. I'd like to, uh, my first experience with that didn't go so good. I was using Teeswater uh, wool and it, I, I made some of the mistakes that first time wig makers make and, and I know that. I think I could do better. Um, I just never went back to it. Uh, again, it's just time. <laughs> There's lots of projects and things I want to do and I just, uh, um, I just don't have time to do them all. <laughs> but I do have some alpaca. I bought some cheaper um, combed and washed alpaca just to experiment a little bit with and see um, what I might be able to accomplish. Um, I was really nervous to buy alpaca because it's a little bit spendy. I got a pretty good deal. I think it was about a half an ounce for $20, which I, I didn't think was too bad. Um, I, I, I think I hope I'll be able to at least make a wig out of that, uh, but we'll see. Um, just want to play around with it. Um, okay, what's next on the list? Um, talked about blushing. Oh, uh, I have been doing a little bit of embroidery. Um, worked on this piece, I think, I don't know, when was that last week sometime? Uh, supposed to be a rabbit. Not completely pleased with the the face. Um, still learning, you know, how to how to texture the way the, the threads are laying um, so that you can get as much detail in there as possible. Uh, but I think I'll fill an entire, um, an entire, Sorry about that, got cut off. Also, all of this under the desk, chewing on her bone. Uh, she came in here to hide from the other dog so they wouldn't take the bone from her. So, sorry, gross bulldog chewing noises. <laughs> but anyways, embroidery, I kind of forgot what I was saying. Um, not completely happy with this, but I, I think I'm, I'm learning um, and uh, uh, would like to do some more of that. It, it's kind of something to do in the evening when I'm tired um, and just want something kind of soothing to do. Um, so there's that. Um, uh, let's exit my list. Um, oh, okay. So um, I'm working on another little hat. This one is supposed to be for Neela. Um, this little hat that I'm working on for her. I don't know. Uh, there, there's some things I don't like about it, but um, I'm almost done with it. So I'll go ahead and finish it. and. Um, uh, I'd like to make her some little hats to wear because I think I, I'm really starting to like to like hats. So I'd like to learn more, make different types, um, and uh, just another fun thing to do. Um, I do have a um, uh, I commissioned a, uh, a headband, uh, a floral uh, headband with um, I forget the name of her name. I think it's Deadly Cherries on Etsy. If, a few months ago, uh, and um, and it was supposed to have some horns, uh, like her little blue horns that she has. Um, it's been it's been several months. I don't know. I don't know if there was some problems with getting the materials and that sort of thing. But 
uh, we'll see when it arrives because my idea, it, my ideas ch have changed. Um, so with a long wait like that, by the time it gets here, sometimes I'm like, well, I want to do something different. Um, so we'll see uh, when it gets here um, whether I decide to do something different. Uh, but uh, looking forward to that. Just uh, I like I like to change things up. Um, her little jewel, uh, which I love. Um, Lonnie made this little jewel for her when she did her face up and, and wig and uh, I was trying to clean off like I had some sticky uh, tack on it and I was trying to clean it off um, and I think I might have ruined it. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try to fix it but it's feeling kind of sticky now so I I don't know if it's just the stuff that's on it but um, I, I also might try experiment with this new resin that I've got, um, making her a little, a little gem. Um, I've also, I've always wanted to eventually was to actually get her an, a real opal, like to find a real little opal, um, just a little round opal that would be on her head because that's part of her character design too. And it has, it has meaning. The meaning behind the, the opal is that it's, um, uh, it's the embodiment of her, dead um, ancestor uh, who was a goddess um, and was trapped in, in this stone. So that's there's a whole big story behind that um, and eventually I hope I can like tell it somehow. I don't know, write it or just tell you guys. But um, the she she was in, she's in possession of, of the opal. There's a lot of paradoxes and time things that that, that happen um, and that's part of that's part of the story too. But Anyways, I don't know if I need that. 80 cents. <laughs> um, how long are we doing for time? Um, let's see. This is going to be a long video. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and tackle um, uh, JoJo's prompt. Let's see. Where did it go here? Um, did my camera will make it. So I'm reading it here on the screen. Uh, Jojo Dojo, his his YouTube channel. He he, he posted this prompt. Um, uh, here is the question: How do you feel about comparing your dolls to others, and if you do compare, why? Uh, and I guess this is something that I wasn't terribly aware of, um, as far as our art's not. It's just not a part of what I do with dolls. I mean, I. I'm too busy doing stuff. <laughs> I'm too busy working on my dolls, uh, doing things for them, um, and it's all very personal. So uh, I look at, at other people's dolls. I, I, I look at Instagram. I you know I look at Flickr, um, Facebook, and I and you know I'll just be laying in bed browsing on my phone, and um, and I enjoy that. I love looking at what other people are doing. I find it inspiring, and I'm happy for them. Um, uh, I don't like every single thing that everybody does, but as far as me, like looking, oh, she did that with her doll, and it's better than me, and now I feel bad. I, I don't know. It just doesn't. And I think Libby talked about this a little bit. That might have been a mentality that I might have had when I was a teenager. I don't know. I just never was quite that way. I was just always so independent and doing my own thing um, that I. I don't pay attention so much what other people are doing uh, as, as far as it being a reflection. Them doing well or doing something nice doesn't lessen me. Uh, it, I, I, Libby said this too, I celebrate other artists um, if, if they are doing something that they like uh, and make their doll pretty or you know accomplish what they want, I, I'm happy for them. So no, I don't really, I don't really do the comparing thing. Um, and what I would what I would tell to anybody who who this is something that really affects their self esteem um, is is to kind of take a step back, um, you know, focus on you, uh, improving yourself, uh, and and uh, you shouldn't you shouldn't feel bad because somebody else is successful. Um, that's kind of a destructive type of mentality. Uh, that's not very constructive for your growth and yeah I just in, in everything in dolls in life um, so worry about you uh, and and you'll you'll be all right <laughs> um, okay so long rambling video um, 
I'm waiting on, I'm waiting. That's part of the doll hobby, isn't it? Waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm waiting for bodies. I'm waiting for um, my doll flower eyes. I really hope they come in soon. I have some little things. Oh, oh man, I should have made another video. <laughs> um, because I, the other thing that I, I have coming, and hopefully that will come soon, is a little, um, that little dog. Uh, it's a fox, a Russian fox terrier made by, let's see, let me look up my Etsy. It's made by um, Elios, uh, let's see, purchases, I'm looking at my computer here. Um, so uh, we'll come in here, I don't know, can you see that? <laughs> you have my messy desk. Um, so I ordered this little dog, it's five centimeters tall. I'm super excited. It's going to be Neela's Neela, because Neela has that puppy. Um, she's had a puppy for a, a few months now that has been growing up um, and she's been taking care of it. Uh, it was slightly forbidden, very forbidden. Uh, and, oops, okay, we're still got time. So um, that's gonna be her puppy. And I am very, very excited to, it's coming blank, very, very excited to customize it and paint it. Um, so, Yes, this is a very long video. I should have put some of these things up, but thanks for listening to me blather uh, And I always appreciate it. I hope everybody's having a great Monday and a great week day off for me um, I love not working on Mondays <laughs> um, So take care everybody have a great week